good morning and welcome back to my channel so we are going to continue to work on our journals because I really want to get these finished up and get them in the shop for you guys that way you know anybody who wants the holiday journals can get them early and that was kind of my whole point in starting these early was so everybody who wanted them could um, could get them early so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew these in and see where we go from there. Um, and it's going to, it's not really a hard process. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit for you guys. Um, but it's not really a hard process, but it does take a little bit of time. But I don't know how many of you actually want to know how to sew in signatures. And it's really, really not complicating at all. So you're going to need... A thread and a needle and I have both right here and I'm going to grab my pokey tool which is actually not in here it should be because it should all be together um, that way I don't lose it in the abyss that is my desk which is possible that has already happened um, there you are you're hiding Find my pencil. Oh, now I can't get to you. Oh, no. Ow. I stabbed myself. Okay. I'm going to put this back in here when we're done. So I'm going to come over here and grab my clips here and click off of OBS. So I can remember to do that. I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to find the middle here. I'm going to line everything up. Okay. And you are supposed to go in there. I'm just going to set you aside for now. Okay. You want to take this out for now, too. I don't want to accidentally sew in the bows and then it's stuck. That would be bad. All right, so line that up. Take your clip and your clip. Another clip. I find this to be the easiest way to do this. I mean, I'm sure there's different ways to sew in signatures. This just happens to be my preferred choice. It is easier than some of the other ways. Uh, you can sew it, like as in with a sewing machine. I don't particularly like doing that because I feel like it could damage the paper so I don't typically do that. So I normally do three. That's pretty common with journalers is to pull your thread out times three, the height of your journal. And there we go. Take this off. And I guess it would help if I poked holes in it first, huh? So I'm just going to grab the middle-ish. Well, it looks like the middle to me. And I'm going to stab. So it pokes out that side. See? And then I normally try to go about an inch and a half to two inches. But I want to catch this doily. So let's find out where she's at. So probably right there. Okay. And then equidistance on the bottom. Equa-ish. You see my fancy ruling meth. I was going to say method, but that doesn't make any sense. So take your string, 
Uh, this is cotton. You can use wax thread. A lot of people use wax thread. Um, and then go, okay, I don't know if I was in view for that one. So I'm just going to take my needle and go inside the first hole. Bloop. Pull it through. And then I'm going to go in through the outside. Through that hole. And I'm going to take this thread. I don't want to split the thread. So I'm going to pull it to one side. And hopefully be able to stick my needle through the hole without splitting the thread. Okay. And voila. When you split the thread, you actually make it a little more difficult to tighten your string. So I'm going to come back in here and go underneath. And then tie a knot. And then tie another knot. And then tie one more just for good luck and measure. Okay. And so now that's completely sewn in. Okay. Oh, wait. And you can put a charm on here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and just kind of make a bow tie. That way, whoever gets them can add a charm if they so choose. I just cut them neat or even. You could also double up on your string of choice. Like if you use embroidery thread, you could double up if you wanted. Okay, let's see. You could also put lace on the outside, which I think I'm probably going to do. But we're going to get these sewn in real quick. And as you can see, that was seven minutes of me talking, and I got that sewn in. So let's oh, let's put these in here. I'm just going to stuff them right inside. Oh, and there's our doily, so it's nice and sewn in. Um, but I'm just going to stuff these in here, so I remember they go in there. And grab this one here. This one's pretty even as it sits. And this dolly is a little bit bigger, so I won't have to worry about going quite so far to the edge. You could do this without clamping it. I don't trust myself, so I clamp it. And I love this tissue fabric thing. Like that is probably my favorite thing in this journal. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I'm gonna, I'm so gonna have to make more of those. So, uh, oh, and pardon me if my phone goes off. I don't know if it will or not, but I've had a lot of orders today. Um, And it seems like every time I get one done, I have another two or three pop up. But I have to have my phone on me because it's my Christmas present, but I want an Apple Watch. Um, well, it's not my Christmas present. I told Wayne that's what I want for Christmas. Who knows if that's what I'm getting for Christmas. So I am going to find the middle-ish again and push. And then go about probably about two inches from the top, inch and a half, and push. And same thing, flip it over about 
inch and a half, two inches from the bottom. And whoosh. And this is like, this is an acne popper. We just never used it for it. And um, I got it. It was a kit that I got for my daughter. She was scared of the thing. And I was just like, ooh, that would make a really cool pokey tool. I've been through a lot of pokey tools. Um, and I know they're called awls. But I call them pokey tools because, well, I am complicated and weird. But you gotta love me, right? Oi, that's just part of my caricature. Um, but yeah, so I'm just go through here. Anyway, so I stole it before <laughs> before it ever even got the chance to be be used. I still do. Alright, and then take this again, pull it tight. And go there. Okay. And find the hole. Oops. found the hole, but it went sideways, but I got it. All right, so make sure everything's tight without pulling it too tight because you don't want to rip your pages right out of the thread. Okay. All right. I'll pull it tight one more time because I made it really loose when I started playing around with the knot. Alright, so that makes two. And that makes three. And you could glue it right here if you wanted to. I normally don't. And make those even. And you can leave it. Or you could tie it in a bow. I'm going to tie it in a bow. Oh, well, I'm going to try to tie it in a bow. I'm not very good at tying bows. Anybody who's been with me for a long time knows I don't do bows very well. They end up all kinds of wonky. Okay. Um, oh, I also, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to startle anybody if I did. Um, so I was reading the comments right before I turned OBS on and someone had asked me where I had gotten these clusters from, these little clusters that I used. I did put that in the description box. Um, I got it from Gramsci. Where's her little bag? Oh, it's not on here. But it is in the description box of yesterday's video. I did make sure to put it there. Um, so uh, just double check and it is there for you guys. So grab this one here. I love the inside of this one. It is by far my favorite. Okay. And like I said, these are semi-decorated. So we're not going to go all ham on these decorations. We're going to make them nice and simple and elegant. So you guys have plenty of room to play and decorate and write and journal and glue if that's what you want. I know some people use their journals for glue books. I actually thought about making a journal for my daughter. She wants to get into, well she is into graphic design and um, I'm just I'm waiting for her to like make designs that she's like, okay, can you, can you like show people this? Um, she's not comfortable yet. So obviously I haven't shown anybody any of her designs because she's not comfortable enough and she doesn't want, she doesn't like attention. Like, you know, the people that, you know, they have to be the center of attention. Yeah. She could not be further from the opposite of that. Like it is 
she's just like, don't look at me. <laughs> she's kind of funny, actually. Um, and this is my oldest daughter I'm talking about. All right, again, going to find the middle. And voila. Okay. And again, we're going to go about inch and a half to two inches from the, well, this is the bottom. Don't stab yourself. Uh, it is better if you have like a book or something to like stab it into, but it's okay if you don't because I like being thrifty, obviously, and I am all about saving money. And I don't have one of those um, wooden blocks where you can just set it in and stab it. Um, and I, I have a book, but it's my glue book, so I don't want a bunch of holes in it because I use the pages in, um, for journaling cards and such and decorating journaling cards. All right, so again, we're going to take this. We're going to pull it taut. Taut. Is that the word? Taut. Um, we're actually, you know what, um, yeah, okay, there we go, and then here, and you know what you should do before you start sewing, unlike me? is you should start and you should double check and make sure that all of your pages are lined up. Um, I do have some decorations on the books, but are on the pages rather, but there's not a lot. But I am gonna double check this before I, before I tie it. I don't wanna pull that off yet because I still need to pull it through the other side. Okay. And then this side. Okay. Now I'm going to have to tighten everything back up because I just loosened it all up in double checking the pages. So I'm just going to pull it, make sure that it's tight, and my needle just popped out. So, there we go. Easy as that. Okay. All right. One. And there's no special number with three. I just like odd with pretty much everything. Like, even my house is not symmetrical. Like it's all asymmetrical um, decorations and such like that. Like one, three, fives. Like just I don't know. That's how I do things. Oh, by the way, speaking of odd, um, odd number. I weigh myself every single morning. Okay, for one. Um, because of the whole, you know, life change thing, I weigh myself every single morning and I am officially down 25 pounds in two months because I started this program um, September 4th, I think. It was either the 3rd or the 4th. I'll have to double check for you guys. But I started this program September 4th and I am down 25 pounds. The last time I was on any kind of diet, bad or otherwise, I did lose 20 pounds in six months and I gained it all back almost immediately. But I will say that I feel amazing, like physically and emotionally. Um, like it's funny because like today, uh, this one is, it's wonky, so I'm gonna undo it, redo it. So like today we were supposed to do a uh, positive affirmation and I think positive affirmations are really important and I think they're amazing and great. So I actually have 
um, too. Uh, they're not necessarily positive af affirmations. Um, one of them is, but it was the first thing that I did when I started. And one of them says, be confident with who I am. And it's exclamation mark times three. So it's yelling at me. Every single time I sit down at my desk, I see that. And I say that to myself. And um, so today, we always have some sort of assignment or something to do. Um, and what we were supposed to do today was come up with a positive affirmation on our own for ourselves. And I asked Wayne, I was like, what is a good affirmation for me? And he's like, you know, I don't know, because your attitude has changed so drastically in the last couple of months, it's hard to say. Now ask me six months ago, I could have told you. Um, because I mean, my attitude was just so different, you know? And so I think what I did was I took myself from six months ago and thought of something that I needed to constantly remind myself of every day. And I think that everyone should remind themselves of this particular affirmation every day. And it is, I am important. And I think it's true. I think that every person on this planet is important. You are important to someone. You are important for life. You are important part of, you know, all kinds of things. But the main purpose is to know that you are important. And like I said, um, it's very different for me now because I don't have the same mentality that I did six months ago, you know? So I don't necessarily need as much reminding today about that, but I definitely think that it's really great to have that reminder every single day. I don't know. I guess I'm just silly and I figured I wanted to share that with you guys because I have always been super open about um, my psychological issues, my psychological needs. Like I've always been really, really open about that because I think that it's really important for people to know that you're, you're not alone in your struggles and there are other people out there that, you know, have issues just like you. I am one of those people. Um, for those of you who are new and may not know, I suffer from severe social anxiety and severe generalized anxiety. Like I have a hard time talking to people in person. And anyone who's actually met me will probably be able to tell you the same thing because I'll, you know, I'll befriend people and then, you know, it's, I seclude myself from people because I'm actually afraid of people. I know, crazy, right? But I am getting better and I think that this whole mentality issue with me is one of the things that are, is making me better. Okay, so put the stabby thing in the, in the box with the book bindy stuff. Okay, and then we are done with finding our books and I can show you what we've done. Oh, and I flattened them all too. I had to borrow my own book. Um, so we moved the washer and dryer, I don't know, sometime last week. And um, when we moved the washer, it like ripped up the linoleum or ripped up a hole in the linoleum. And um, where are you? There you are. And the maintenance guys came out today to replace some light bulbs. And so while they were here, they... Um, Where's this other one go? Ah, there you are. While they were here, they patched up that hole. And so I had to borrow my book so I could set it on the hole so it would like lay flat. And it was funny because the guy was just like, this might discolor your book a little. I was like, ah, it'll be great. <laughs> of course, Wayne, he's so funny. He actually put a piece of aluminum foil between the floor of my book. It was that ginormous, um, I want to say it's Polish, but I don't know. Um, did they speak Polish in the Netherlands? No, it's Dutch. 
right? It, yeah, it's Dutch in the Netherlands, I think. Um, so anyway, this is one of the journals. This one is actually completely naked. So we need to do something with this bad boy because she, he, um, I feel we are calling it a bad boy because it's pink. But this little lady is, is severely in needing of some dress-ins. So we've got some extra lace here that goes really nicely with um, this particular coloration, this, this paper. I love this paper, by the way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this lace. Um, we can do a pocket. We can also do a pocket here, but I really don't want to cover him up. That's kind of why I didn't do it there. I really, really, really don't want to cover him up. So let's put a pocket here like that. And you know what? I'm a ding dong and left my, my thing open. Oh, also, um, news. Uh, I think I've told you guys, but I'm actually going to start decorating these and I'm going to have them on the shop very soon. Um, I just have to get time to decorate them because right now, um, I don't have a whole lot of time because the schedule that the kids are on are, is like kind of crazy. Um, and it's a, it's a normal school schedule, but they're here and I have to be there kind of with them, mostly Sid, like I don't really need to micromanage quarter because, you know, he's 14, he's in high school. Um, but it's Sydney. She's, she's in third grade while well, she's doing third grade work. And, um, I still kind of have to micromanage her and she's doing her schoolwork until three o'clock every day. It helps a lot though that Wayne's off on leave. So, but I kind of got engrossed in this book and I have been spending so much time reading this book and kind of not a lot of time. That would be pretty cool to have that right in the middle. You want to do that? Ooh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have that little AB piece left and that would be really great for a cluster. So let's see how high we need to make this. Wait. Alright, so here. But anyway, so I've gotten really engrossed in this book. And I'm actually about halfway through it now. <laughs> Once I start reading, if it's a good book, it won't take me very long to get through it. Maybe a day or two. Um, Alright, so this one is going to go over the stitches a little. That's okay. And we're going to leave this one open completely so it can dry. <coughs> Ow. Swallowed wrong. All right. Um, stop touching it. Stop touching it. <laughs> I forget how much I hate Fabri-Tac on my skin until I get Fabri-Tac on my skin. And then I'm like, no. All right, now let's trim that up. And I did um, purposefully pull this down ever so slightly so it's just under the page or it's just past the page rather. And that way it hangs off the bottom. I figured that would be really cute. Okay, and also don't forget that we've got all of these beautiful cards that we can add 
I really want to do a, um, oh, what's it? A, um, a woodland winter. Cause I think that that would be super cute. All right. That there. Oh, super cute. I could actually put another one there. Um, let's see. We could do a big one. I have big ones. I feel like they need something though. Yeah, I feel like it needs something. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay, let's leave this open for now. But we've got two pockets here. We've got this one here and then we've got this one that we just added here. So let's see what we can do with this card. Um, actually, you know what, let's decorate, let's make some cards and such in tomorrow's video. Um, and that way we can just finish this up and we can get these put on the shop for you guys. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, um, you guys will have these and I'm going to leave this open so it can dry. It doesn't take very long to dry. Fabri-Tac dries really, really quick. But I am going to leave this open, let it dry, and I will see you guys all later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned how to sew in the signatures. Really super simple, not complicated. Then you have, and if you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments down below. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.